Hello and Kuzang to you all. Today in this video, we will be learning about the uh, biomedical signal processing. So as an engineer, we should be knowing what a signal is. In simple terms, a signal is a function that conveys information or we can say that a signal is a carrier of information. In this video, we will be mainly talking about the signal related to biomedical. So before that we should know what the system is and what the source of getting this biomedical signal is. The system it is a group of similar or dissimilar units working together for a common purpose. We see that the human body is a system. The answer is yes. We can absolutely see that our human body works as a system. But why do we see that? Our body is made up of many subsystems which together enable us to do a countless thing. The human body functions properly due to the coordinated action of various subsystems. So what are the different subsystems that make our body a subsystem? So we have circulatory system, nervous system, skeletal system, respiratory system, digestive system and muscular system. Each of these subsystems has to work continuously and properly to keep us healthy. The information provided in terms of signals that is related to our body it is called as biomedical signals. So biomedical signals they provide the information determining the health of our body. Biomedical signals are observations of physiological activities ranging from gene and pro protein sequences to nerve conduction and cardiac ryth rhythms to tissues and organ images. Uh, the biomedical signals uh, it is classified into two types the number of points used to collect data and the type of potential. So under the number of points used to collect data there is signal varying with time and single valued signals. Uh, so the signal varying with time we have ECG electrocardiogram uh, these are signals that represent the electrical activity of the human heart and it consists of several waveforms the second is EEG electrocephalography it is related to our brain the third one is EMG electromyogram which is related to the movement of impulses of skeleton system, systems uh, we have different signals that determines the he health of our body under the signal varying with time so for the single value signals uh, we have temperature and pressures these are signals uh, like many times we see the blood pressure temperature of our body and sugar level so these are the type of single valued signals under the type of potential we have action action potential signals it is a uh, brief impulse signals that travels along the nervous systems of our human body then we have the event related signals or it is also called as the evoked potential but there is a certain changes or specific patterns observed in biosignals that are triggered by a particular event or st stimulus so these are called as event related signals uh, this is the overall block diagram which is used for computer analysis of biomedical signal so if you see the starting it is a source or an experimental subject we can refer it as a patient the source is a patient from where we take the biomedical signal that can be in the form of ECG, EEG and EMG depending on which part of the body we are diagonizing the first stage is the signal data acquisition stage. Here we have the signal data which have to be processed or to be analyzed. In here we have the first stage that is the transducer. Uh, a transducer will be converting any form of signal into an electrical signal. Now we are followed by an isolation preamplifier. Uh, as we have connected the patient with an electrical signal there will be a need of isolation so that the electrical potential of the instrument is not projected back to the patient so therefore the isolation preamplifier is 
important. Then it is followed by the amplifiers, am amplifiers and filters, uh, which will provide necessary initial amplification and also filtering of the signal. Then we have the analog to digital converter. As we know that nowadays we are focusing on the digital method to process the signal and thus this conversion is important since there is numerous important advantage of digital signals over analog signal. Signal data acquisition is followed by the signal processing. The first block is the artifacts and noise removal. The biomedical signals have different types of noises present. So this block will be helping in removing or filtering the noises. The noise the next block is the detection of events and components. Here we will be talking about the events present in the biomedical signals and how we can detect those events. We will be further discussing about the signal processing in the later part of the video. The final stage is the signal analysis stage. Here we have the feature extraction and the pattern recognition and classification uh, where we will be uh, studying the different algorithms for pattern recognition in order to identify the problem present in the patient and it will produce a diagnostic decision which will be further given to the physician who can finally understand the situation better and give the required treatment to the patient. So this is the overall block diagram of the biomedical signal processing. Now we have the signal processing. Under that we have pre-processing. So pre-processing is nothing but the data preparation technique in which raw signal is converted into a format that is required for further processing. So it is generalized into linearing filtering which is which comprises of bandpass filter, derivative and moving window integrator. Then we have non-linear transformation. So th these are used for signal amplitude scoring, T wave discrimination and adaptive threshold to produce or decision in algorithm. Next we have the process of the techniques. First we have the Fourier uh, fast Fourier transform. So it is a technique used to convert time domain signals into the frequency domain enabling the identification of characteristic frequencies, noise reduction and feature extraction. Next we have Laplace transform. So this is a fundamental mathematical tool used in biomedical signal processing to transform complex time domain signals into the IS domain. Then we have the wavelet transform. These are a powerful tool in signal processing which decompose a signal into a base formed by expansions, compression and translation of this mother wavelet. The wavelet improves performance in detecting abnormal areas and extracting features from biomedical signals. Then we have deep learning. So this enables automatic feature extraction, classification and prediction with high accuracy. Result uh, Disease diagnosis. Uh, biomedical signal processing algorithms can identify abnormal patterns in ECGs that might indicate heart arrhythmias so it is an irregular heartbeat which is a problem with the rate or the rhythm of your heartbeat or in EEGs that suggest epilepsy for physiological monitoring uh, real-time processing of biosignals allows for continuous monitoring of vital signals like our heart rate blood oxygen levels during surgery or critical care uh, brain computer interfaces or BCIS uh, bio biomedical signal processing is crucial for developing BCIs that can interpret brain signals and translate them into control commands for prosthetic, which are artificial replacement for our body or that can be called as assistive devices. Challenges faced uh, signal variability. So the biosignals can vary significantly between individuals depending on their difference in age, health and activity level. 
So this difference makes it challenging to develop robust processing algorithms, data security and privacy. Biosignals contain sensitive personal information. Uh, ensuring data security and privacy is paramount when processing and storing this data. Computational complexity. Certain biosignal processing algorithms can be uh, very ex expensive, thereby limiting their use in real-time application with resource constraints. So a glimpse into the future. Uh, where are we going? with the biomedical signal processing machine learning and deep learning uh, these powerful tools hold immense promise for improve improving the accuracy and efficiency of biosignal processing algorithms personalized medicine uh, biomedical signal processing can be tailored to individual patients for a more personalized approach to healthcare biosignal integration Merging information from multiple biosignals can provide a more comprehensive picture of a patient's health, thereby ensuring the safety of the patient's health. Overall, the biomedical signal processing is a rapidly evolving field with the potential to revolutionize healthcare by overcoming the challenges and embracing advancement. Biomedical signal processing can unlock a new era of personalized medicine and empower us to better understand and manage our health. Thank you.